Waves are a transfer of energy. They happen when a disturbance propagates or is transmitted through a medium such as air or water. There are many types of waves that differ by the way they move, their amplitudes, the medium they're traveling through, and other features as well. First up, we'll look at pulse versus periodic waves. Pulse waves look like there's only one single disturbance moving through the medium, just one and you're done. Periodic waves, on the other hand, come from a source of disturbance that continuously adds energy at a certain frequency. Instead of just one ripple, you'll see many moving down at a constant rate. Then we have transverse and longitudinal waves, which describe the direction that the wave moves in with respect to its direction of propagation. Transverse waves move so that their amplitude is perpendicular to the axis of propagation. For example, if we have a spring and we shake one end of it up and down, the resulting wave would be moving to the right, but the amplitude would be pointing in the up and down directions. The opposite of this would be a longitudinal wave. If we push the spring in and out instead, we'll get regions of compression, which is where the spring is more compact, and rarefaction, which is where the spring is more spread out. And the amplitude of this wave would be parallel to the axis of propagation, so it's labeled as longitudinal. We also have mechanical versus electromagnetic waves. Mechanical waves transfer kinetic and potential energy, which are two types of mechanical energy. Mechanical also move through matter, so a couple of examples would be a water wave or a sound wave. In contrast, electromagnetic waves don't move through matter, they move through a vacuum or empty space. They come in the form of oscillations in electric and magnetic fields. Light waves are common examples of electromagnetic waves because they move through space from the sun to the earth. When there's a barrier in a medium, that can change a wave's motion. When the wave hits a rigid barrier, the wave will be reflected back. A standing wave results when the incoming and reflected waves combine to produce a wave where the amplitude seems to stand in one location. In other words, the standing wave will look like the one on the left. The opposite of a standing wave is a traveling wave, which is what we've been seeing throughout this video. So those are the different classifications of waves in physics. Next up, we'll be looking at how waves can interact with each other.